Look at that. The 50 bucks is still there. One day that thing's gonna be mine. Good evening, guys. It's Friday the 15th. Ooh. Enough of the scary stuff. So I went to a wedding last Sunday, which was convenient for me because it was just downstairs. And to tell you the truth, this is the first time I've been to this kind of wedding. And by this kind, I meant a matrampit wedding. Now, to all my non-Malay speaking viewers, yeah, that's um two of you. A matrampit is, according to Wikipedia, a Malaysian term for an individual who participates in illegal street racing, usually involving underborn motorcycles or scooters. But not all matram pits are involved in street racing. Some of them perform crazy stunts for fun such as the wheelie Superman bracket lying flat on the seat, Wikang, and Scorpion standing on the seat with one leg doing a wheelie. That's impressive. Now to my understanding that's just a stereotype of the matram pit. But here in Singapore it could just mean a Malay guy on a motorcycle. And that's what I meant really. So I was downstairs with my parents and a motorcycle started coming in. There were two motorcycles that did donuts in the parking lot. Nothing says I love you like burning rubber. So then after all that, the normal march in took place. <laughs> Followed by our very own Hells Angels. then proceeded to be a normal wedding after that. But I did manage to catch somebody singing a special something to the newlyweds. This is their wedding gift. A little aeroplane. Because the newlyweds are both cabin crew. It's a salt and pepper shaker. <laughs> I think it's kind of cute. Moving on. Now to the locals who's in the know. Singapore is striving to be the arts hub of Asia. But how do you have that against keeping the city clean? Well, I'll tell you what you get. You get authorized graffiti areas. Sticking it to the man! <coughs> Let's talk about work for a minute. More specifically, my work at a coffee place. So in my place, we have an incentive program. And we have monthly challenges to see who sells the most to what. So we also have a picture frame that we hang the pictures of the winners from last month's challenges and we hang them up. So one of my colleagues was in charge of printing them out. And let's just say he didn't use spell check. Congratulations, Joe Marie, you just made it into my vlog. And this is another thing that I do at work. Moving on. So I was talking to my friend Zulia a few minutes ago, and we were discussing the usage of power outlets outside your home. Is it socially acceptable, or is it annoying? For me, I drew the line. On one side, you have a guy who needs to charge his cell phone, and on the other, you have a guy who wants to use his laptop, so he needs to plug it in. Well, to me, it's more socially acceptable to ask the guy in the shop for their power outlet as compared to plugging in your laptop, because the laptop can wait, right? The laptop can wait till you get home. That is, if you have a home, because to me, your handphone is more urgent. You need to stay contactable, you need to contact people. 
Yeah. So in my workplace at a coffee shop, we get a lot of laptop users. And I have a message to the laptop users. If you're coming in a group, please bring a multi-socket. In our whole outlet, we only have four to give you. And please order something substantial instead of ordering a Coke and staying there for like a thousand hours. I feel a lot better now. Just having to get that off my chest. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching. I hope to vlog sooner than this because I took like a wet week. So thanks again. This video is brought to you by my niece talking to her toy handphone. <laughs> Just